Thank you so much for joining me from wherever you are watching from. Share this broadcast. Invite everyone that needs to be here. It is important you join this tonight. Godfather is in you, see Lord of my head, my head, my Thank you very much. Share, share the broadcast and invite uh, others, as, the, as I said. So I am doing the same, and I encourage you to do the same. I have an update from Oluye Sunday, and I am going to share that with everyone tonight. We are going to take a position tonight, and I'm also going to call on my friends who have been waiting for this update, right? So open up it is about to start Yes, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Thank you very much. Uh, we did all that to wait for everyone that uh, is still going to join us. And uh, if you have already joined, remember two things you have to do. The first one. You will drop your offerings, which is you like that video. That is your offering here yeah, in the temple of truth. Your like is what is called your offering where you register your presence. The second one you should do before you settle down is to share the broadcast. Because the moment you are into it, you are likely never going to even remember if you like the video or if you shared it or not. So you can do that. Why we settle it? Because I'm going to make a few announcements myself before I get fully into it. Yes, good news. Yorubas. Enyomo Yoruba. Lenye odi. Ni le loko lenye odi. Oloye sonde ibu woti fo wosi pe. Ijati yu ina injiria amba unja. Oti di jati wa. Ni ito tumo si wikwe, we got the green light today. I am not going to go too into too much details of how and what went down. But yes, Oloye Sunday Igbo agreed with us, Yorubas in diaspora and the friends of Yorubas all over the world would believe that this injustice that uh, Benin Republic is currently melting, melting on Oluye Sunday Igbo can happen to any one of us at any time if they, if they are allowed to get away with it. Therefore, 
Igbowo said we can go ahead. I'm coming to it. But before I get to that, I have uh, two announcements myself or even more to make before we finally uh, settle down. The first one was that uh, I received another donation, monetary, monetary donation to, I mean, sorry, for Prince Jejeman. The last time, which was yesterday, by the way, when I told you that uh, Prince Jejeman and the good friends of uh, Mayegun, they have raised 173 pounds. But today, my dear, very good brother, who obviously won't mind if I mention his name because he's a very, very uh, regular face on my Egun's diary political. Kalu, I won't put the second name, but you know yourself. So Prince JJ Man received another 50 pounds, which now takes his uh, total contribution or donation on my Egun's diary political to 200 and. Uh, 23 pounds, I believe. We are targeting 7,000 pounds. But well, whatever we can offer. So once we get to the end of this month, whatever it is, we'll be forwarded to Prince JJ Man as our own goodwill support as usual. So uh, the second one is that I spoke, I spoke with uh, the leader of Ilanomo Udua, UK. Alagba, or should we say Ba Shegun Olushola Oni? Uh, some of you are very much familiar with that face, especially on Mayegun's diary political when it comes to the Yoruba nation. However, the step we want to take in offering our own uh, legal helping hand so that uh, those who probably felt like uh, Oloye Sunday Igbo has been abandoned after the illegal arrest, or should we call it illegal detention of Oloye Sunday Igbo, which has uh, gone far too long. So yesterday, we received the shocking, heartbreaking, useless news from uh, a supposed legal representative of uh, Oloye Sunday Igbo, Oloye Sunday Igbo's uh, legal counsel is lawyer and so many of us all over the world we are kind of tired of the back and forth games that this seems to have become in the last seven months that uh, the illegal arrest and detention of Oloye Sunday Igbo by Benin Republic remained unchallenged so to say or unsuccessful so far the lawyer said that uh, they have extended the lawyer Sunday Igbo's uh, detention by six months. That is unacceptable. And uh, on that program last night, myself and many, many of my friends agreed that uh, if Oloye Sunday Igbo would accept and ag agree with us, we would no longer want this uh, legal team from Benin Republic to speak for him to represent him or to have anything to do with him anymore. Because we can tell that it is either they have no clue of what they are doing or they are pretty much just making money from it. And the longer he stays, the longer it lasts, the richer they become. Igbo committed no crime. And for those who felt like he's been abandoned, this is our time to show it to them. That it that it, it was never abandoned. It will never be abandoned. Everyone standing up for the right of others. You will never be abandoned. And on this note, I was propelled to go and speak to Oloye Sunday Igbo. However, I did communicate with him, but I won't tell you how anymore because he made me realize that some people who have had the opportunity of speaking to him like you know regularly they ended up recording his voice playing it on social media and the aftermath effect of that is that they ended up taking away his phone therefore he doesn't talk to anyone on the phone except if you are willing to keep it uh, you know to yourself so in this case I would say I didn't speak to him on the phone 
like directly, but we did talk. And in that process, Oloye Sunday Igbowo, Maja Sola, as uh, is popularly, uh, popularly known, is not happy with whatever his legal team are doing. And he agreed with myself and a witness who is probably a known person to many of you as well, a witness. We said, we want this lawyer to stop talking about uh, your case, to stop representing you, and we are offering to hire a set of uh, new legal team, whatever it is going to take. And he said, in his words, eh, go ahead. Affect, Sherry, I want to Sherry, lawyer, ye. I would need confidence, ni no more. And he agreed. I, I want lawyer, you must stop, he share right away. But, a jekin logic, but that for a wanty, I just saw raw. We quit it, bah. Tia bawa bere. Sorry, guys, that, you know, I have to mix this up. It's so important. I have to mix this up. Tia bawa bere. Tia ti wa bere. Sini ya isha a wan, a wan agbe joro. Ti wan mo ni pa e joy le yi. A wan agbe joro. Ti wan mo ni pa e to fi wan ni bene. A wan agbe joro. Ti wan mo ni pa e to fi wan ni West Africa. Ta tin soron pa ilati jo joy. Selected legal team. A specially selected legal team. That will give room for volunteers. People who actually want to also offer their services in pro bono. So Igbo gave us that green light to go ahead. So ladies and gentlemen, in the next uh, couple of days, it should become official. Well, like I told you before I went ahead to speak uh, to, before I decided to push this further, please listen to me very carefully. And uh, for the sake of those who probably would want to mix this up, I will, I mean, I will uh, kind of uh, help you here. Mayegu and friends, which comprises of uh, Yorubas, of uh, impeccable qualities and characters, visible and recognizable human beings, who out of their own frustration with what Nigeria has become, decided to give their support and backing, including financial support, to the cause of Oloye Sunday Igbo. For the past seven months, they have been in the dark of what exactly is the offense of Oloye Sunday Igbo. For the past seven months, they have been more concerned what is going to be the future of whatever Bene Republic has against Igbo for the past seven months. Nobody could give us any reasonable answer. Nobody could give us any clear explanation. But we are not here to challenge you. We are not here to question, we are not here to question what you have done or not, not what, you, what you did or what you didn't do. And this is a fresh approach that if you indeed love Oloye Sunday Igbo, as many of you claim, you will support this. And to be very clear, I am doing this not on any goddamn person authorization or anybody from anywhere other than the only man that is concerned, which brings all of us together. You should not look forward to me giving any, any of you in any kind of group any special recognition whatsoever. And it is important that is, this is stated clearly. Yesterday I said, if Igbo agrees that the Yorubas in diaspora can come together and give their backings legally this way, in uh, helping not just himself, 
including everyone that has been that is being persecuted or prosecuted by Nigeria or whatever in any part of uh, Nigeria today where they can get a reliable legal support legal aid we call it in this regard i can say to all of you here uh without missing my words that on what we are about to embark upon or what we are about to embark on yeah I have been appointed as the sole administrator of how this is going to go. So don't, please, don't take any offense if you feel like somebody is bypassing you and the rest of that. We don't care anymore. And the second part is this. For the naysayers and the rest of those who are probably are going to feel surprised with the type of response that people are going to give to this, Yes, people are going to respond. Oh, people are going to respond. To the naysayers, I want you to be very, uh, to, be, to, to, to have this also very clear, right? The purpose of this fund that we're about to start is to build a foundation, a sort of a defense mechanism for every one of you who has put yourself in the arms where I call it. The moment you say, Yoruba land should be protected. Yoruba land should be defended. Yoruba land should be independent. You put yourself in the arms way. When Nigeria comes for you, Yoruba is in diaspora with our financial war chest. We will defend you. When I finished my program last night, I was going through the comments on, on Facebook and I saw Lady K. She was there. She was commenting and listening. And that moment, when I was uh, having that little chat today uh, with Toloye himself, right? And then uh, my intermediary, who made that happen. What we had in mind was that uh, for the past seven months, most of those who have, in fact, the, our people who have become kind of, those, especially those who were arrested, starting with those who were arrested, their families, their lives, and every other thing are sort of taking a back seat. And many, many of us in the diaspora, we have always wanted to help. Oh, we have always wanted to help. But we've just never had a central coordinated medium where our help could come to you. Now, this is one. Now, the next thing I'm going to talk about after this, or maybe I should give you a quick recap. Why are we doing this? Hello, why are we raising money? Why do we need to raise money? What's going on? Sure, I will give you a recap. On the, on the 6th and 7th of, on the 6th and 7th of January, 2021, Oloye Sunday Igbogo and some other Omolua bees in uh, Yoruba land, they responded to SOS call, save our soul call. From the people of Ngongon, Ayete, Ibarakpa, and all the uh, other part of uh, the northern part of uh, northern, I mean, sorry, uh, or your state, they sent an SOS. This wasn't their first SOS. Save our soul. From the, uh, I mean, from the hands of the invading and ravaging Fulani terrorists in our domains, we are not safe anymore. Our communities are not. In fact, we have been dealing with uh, mass killings that are underreported in your media. Help us. They cried to the police. No help. They cried to the military. No help. They cried to the governor. No help. They cried to the media. Nobody responded. In fact, they were even being blamed. That was those who were being mean, who were mean. Those who were supposed to help them were telling them to learn how to live with their killers. Then they send this SOS again. Oloye Sunday Igbo. A supposed the hero of Yoruba people. Somebody that you and I should put aside our political differences. Put aside every other thing that possibly makes us kind of disagree. And embrace this man. Yeah, he came out and he responded to that SOS. What did he get? He got a target on his back. On the, I mean, when he, when, I mean, a month after responding to the SOS of the people of uh, Igongon, 
in February or March 2021, they burned down his house. Many, many people laughed. Oh, why didn't he use uh, his uh, juju, juju to discover those who wanted to come and burn his house? You mocked him. But that didn't deter him. That didn't stop him. He went on to encourage others that, listen, if you are alive, that is when you can run for office. If you are alive, that is when you can run your businesses. If you are alive, that is when you can actually claim to be somebody. You can get kidnapped, you can get killed, and the media are not paying attention to that. See, if you don't do something, we are all going to be victims. It was everywhere, despite its loss. They were not, fed, they were not done with him. In July 2021, an attempt was made on his life. And two people, innocent people were killed by the government of Nigeria. These two innocent people were unlucky. They were killed. Uh, excuse me, if somebody says they don't have sound, I'm going to advise you to leave the broadcast, okay? And go back in. If your sound is not working, I don't think it's general. And if you all have a sound uh, problem, kindly let me know and I will fix it, okay? So taking you back the memory lane, why are we now raising funds to respond to what they believed? A rigged system in Africa, a rigged system in Nigeria, has forced an innocent man into an illegal detention. The illegality, the illegality of the criminals in government in Nigeria, the government in Benin Republic, has forced two innocent people who had families, who had people who looked up to them, it forced them to, their, to an early death. Now, people are not blaming the government. They are blaming Igbowo. They said, why would Igbowo want to defend Yoruba land. Who the hell is Igbowo? Some of you agree with them, but have you actually asked yourselves, what exactly did, can we say he did that will warrant people being killed in his house? Lady K and 11 others were smuggled and taken to Abuja. Yeah, thanks to legal representation that could actually take the government uh, to task. So in Nigeria, a proper legal representation got these 12 people out. Even though we in the diaspora, we would have possibly do more. I mean, we would have done more for these people to let them know that, listen, if they mock you, we are not mocking you. We know what sacrifice it is that you put yourselves, you put your family, you put your well-being, you even put your future in jeopardy just because you want to express the injustice that is consuming us and that will likely continue to consume us if we do nothing. We would have done more. But Oloye Sunday's case became a back and forth thing. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But what they are not telling you or what they have not really been emphasizing on is that uh, as much as they want us to believe a lot has been done, to get Oloye Igbo out in different ways, right? What they are not really emphasizing on is that uh, there is no legal means in this mean, in this way of getting him out. None of them has been taken. None of them has been taken. None of them will be taken. Only for them to come back and shock us that he's going to be staying in detention for another how many months? Six months. So we rejected that. We rejected that. And that is what has prompted us this. So the next thing I'm going to share with you now is, Mayegun, how are we going to do this? People have told me, number one, let me start with, please, if you have your own personal trust issue, right? When this platform of raising the funds are ready, because they are not ready now. It's not like it's been pre-planned. Oh, it's like my ego has figured this out. Well, I, you know, I've not figured anything out. In fact, I didn't expect to get the approval of Igbo within 24 hours. I didn't expect that. I was like, maybe it's going to take us like another few days or a few weeks. But eventually it happened. Therefore, this is going to be me, my ego general, one man mopo, with his uh, trusted friends, my reliable friends and all of you are Oloye Sunday Bo's friends all over the world. 
if you don't get trust issue, when you support this kind of a thing, right? It is called voluntary. I put it that way, voluntary donation. So I put it together. We are going to start uh, this uh, legal aid, not just for Oluye Sunday Igbo's case, including every case that has to do with uh, the issue of the Oluye Sunday Igbo. I mean, for now, the people that Nigeria is persecuting, they are the people, they are one, Oluye Sunday Igbo, two, these 12 great Yoruba sons and daughter. These are the people currently being persecuted. And to us in the diaspora, when I say diaspora, I'm not just talking about UK and America. I'm, talk, I'm not talking about America. I mean, I'm not talking about uh, just uh, Canada or uh, the rest of you in Dubai. When I say diaspora, even if you are living in Benin Republic, you are living in diaspora. Are you with me? If you are living in uh, Togo, if you are living in Ghana, you are living in diaspora. If you indeed actually want things done, you will chip.